when miracles still happen, there was a magic spell which opened the gateway to the enchanted land of Simsala, the place where all the fairy tale characters really live. was the most pleasant landing we've ever had. Whatever next? Lunch? I am a little peckish. Yo-yo, this gets better all the time. That's the Speedy Hedgehog Tavern. It's run by Albert and Ethel. They're old friends of mine. <laughs> We haven't seen you around for ages. Mm. We've missed your stories mm. around here. Come join us. <laughs> Say. I didn't know hedgehogs could run. Oh, not only can Albert run, he's the fastest hedgehog in the world. The fastest what? <laughs> the fastest hedgehog, thank you very much. Now move along. Fastest hedgehog in the world? <laughs> Is that like being the world's tallest midget? If you ever want to run a real race, you'll be sure to let me know. You leave him alone. Albert's not just the fastest hedgehog in the world, he's the fastest anything. No, I'm the fastest hedgehog. You feel like putting a wager on that? Of course he does. No, 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 no. What are you thinking? Of course he doesn't want to bet. You're a hare. Ha! I knew it. What a coward. I am not a coward. <gasps> So you do want to bet? Absolutely. Want to bet for something big or something small? Big! Big! Uh, big. Your tavern, perhaps? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, 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 right. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. From the big rock to the old oak tree, back and forth a hundred times. And if I win, your tavern is mine. And if you should win, <laughs> then I will become your servant in the tavern. Deal? Deal! <laughs> yeah. oh, all right! <laughs> this Sunday at noon, the bet is on. <laughs> Beating the hare in a race? That's impossible. Impossible? I don't know the meaning of the word. Well, it's the opposite of pos. Yes, I know what it means. But it's my honor that's at stake. And my legs have served me well so far. They won't fail me now. You hear that, legs? Wahoo! Hmm, we need a plan. We always need a plan. The race starts here at the big rock, through the thick forest, across the muddy field, through the badger tunnel, over the raging stream, and ending up at the old oak tree. And then, back again. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. One hundred times. Whoa! <laughs> it's a good thing stamina's my game. <laughs> And these legs haven't failed me yet. <laughs> Come on, Albert. Keep it up. Go, Albert. 
Albert, go! Don't give up now! Come on, Albert, you can do it! Keep it up! Almost there! Come on! One last sprint! Yeah! Well, how'd I do? I don't know how to tell you this, Albert. <laughs> but by the time you're finally going to cross the finishing line, not only will Harold the Hare have long won the race, he'll have had time to move into his new tavern and enjoy a lovely dinner. Uh, that's dinner including dessert. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, we come up with a cunning plan. <laughs> Nice try, Yo-Yo. At this rate, the hare would have to skip dessert, uh, but we lose all the same. Oh. And that's aside from the fact that this silly hedgehog disguise will fool absolutely nobody. You look more like some kind of drenched cat than a hedgehog. Hey, wait! What if we dress up Ethel as Albert? Okay, so we dress up Ethel as Albert, why? Because she's faster than Albert? No way! Albert's three times as fast as me! I have an even more cunning plan. <laughs> this is the old oak, which also happens to be... <laughs> the end of the race course. Now, when you run the race, starting from the big rock, you run into the forest and, as soon as you can, duck behind the nearest tree and let Harold run ahead. What? Why? Harold runs through the thick forest, across the muddy fields, etc., etc. And what happens then? And finally gets to the old oak, which is where he's supposed to turn around. <laughs> I'm already here. What took you so long? Huh? Harold can't believe it. How can a hedgehog beat him all the way here? And the same back at the start. Back and forth, and back and forth. And... Oh. Mm. <laughs> Uncanny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, all we have to do is repeat this a hundred times without anything going wrong. See, all it takes is a clever plan, and voila, we beat the hare without a sweat. Now <laughs> that is a cunning plan, and you get to keep the tavern. Oh, uh, it's still cheating, isn't it? I prefer to think of it as outwitting him. And don't forget, you get to keep your tavern. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. The hare against the hedgehog. It's the race of the century. And I don't have to tell you who the odds on favorite is. Hey, Doc, how much gold do we have? Our life savings, you mean? Three gold pieces. Fancy a bet? Oh, yo, yo. Come on, it's a sure thing. Hair against hedgehog? We'll have more gold than we can carry. Who are you thinking of betting on? Mm. The hair, of course. Have you paid attention to anything we've been talking about for the last few hours? Albert will win. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. So far, this race is already working wonders. The tavern's never been this busy. I'm not doing this race for profit. I'm doing it to defend my honor. And save our tavern. Step up and place your bets. Odds in favor of Harold the Hare, 348 to 1. I really don't want to win this by cheating. What? You should have thought of that before you agreed to this cockamamie bet, you darned fool. 
Now cheating's the only way to keep our tavern. Mm -hmm. I'll see you after the race. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you Albert the Hedgehog, weighing in at a respectable three and a half pounds and showing off his sleek, prickly physique. Albert has been a champ of the Hedgehog Racing Circuit for as long as he can remember. This wasn't part of the plan, was it, Doc? I mean, everybody's here to watch. There are always a few, um, small, unexpected details. You call this a small detail? <laughs> late to the start, late to the finish, eh? We'll see about that. These legs have never beaten a hair. Don't worry, our plan is foolproof. And here comes our referee, Dickie the Hall. <laughs> referee? A hawk? Another small, unexpected detail? You know, Doc, I've been thinking maybe we shouldn't... Look, uh, here he is now. Why is Dickie here, I hear you ask? Well, with all these bets, we just had to invite Dickie down to make sure that... Absolutely no cheating will occur under any circumstances whatsoever. How would you cheat on a race anyway? It just takes a bit of imagination. <laughs> Doc, we have to call it off. The race, Ethel, the cheating. Go to the finish line and stop her from going through with it. That's crazy. You'll lose your tavern. If I'm going to lose, I'll do it in style. And I'll do it my way. Remember, I'm the fastest hedgehog in the world, so all's not lost. No, but this race is... You're up against a hair. I still have two things going for me. Stamina and the other thing. What's the other thing? It's a... And the contestants are getting set to take off in this somewhat uneven race. Uh. Oh. Doc, you have to go! Stop, Ethel! How can you lose in style? That's not style. I just feel awful. Poor Albert's going to lose his tavern. We can't even get to Ethel in time. Which means she'll help him to win the race. No, it means she'll be discovered by Dickie the Hawk. Uh, so on top of everything else, Albert will be accused of cheating. This is just bad, bad, bad. Oh, I've got a better idea. We're gonna make sure that Albert wins with pizzazz and a little trickery. And what's your idea? Pretty much what I just said. I thought you'd fill in the blanks. Hmm. We have to find a way to distract the hawk. See? I knew you could do it. <laughs> Phew! Can't wait to have a nice meal in my new tavern after this race. Perhaps you'll be in time to serve me dessert. Focus. Focus. On your marks. Get set. And go! Technique for a hedgehog, if I do say so myself. I like that swaying waddle. Very fetching. I'd love to stay in chat, but I have a race to win. <laughs> These legs haven't failed me yet! <laughs> um, distracting a hawk. A piece of ham would be just the thing. Oh, let's see. Oh, great. Help! My cat's stuck up in a tree! Help! Oh, help! 
somebody help get my cat down? Huh? Could, uh, some flying creature help me get my cat down? <laughs> yo, yo, look out! Behind you! Behind ah! That's oh, my cat! Yes! Wait, come back! Okay. I'm already here. What's taking you so long? Didn't I just pass him? I just pass him? have any breakfast this morning. Never Meow. had a cat before. Meow! I see. Well, there's no time not to start like the present. Don't you, um, have better things to do? Shouldn't you be minding a race or something? It'll go on for a while. I have time for a quick snack. Where's my man with the plan? Duck! <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> think, Yo-Yo, think! Look out! Behind you! Huh? <gasps> <Whoa! sighs> huh. It's always the simple ones that do the trick. <sighs> What's going on here? I was just, uh, I was just resting a little, giving that braggart of a hare a little head start. <clears throat> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a race to run. <laughs> hmm. Phew, boy. going on here Albert you're not supposed to run you're supposed to hide the deal is off we're not going to cheat I'm going to run this race fair and square! I think it's about time we put an end to this fraud, don't you? Fraud? Uh, no, no, uh, I'm running this fair and... You can't fool me. Huh? After all, I'm a hawk. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. I knew I should have had breakfast. <laughs> now, if you will excuse me, I have a race to run. You can do it! You're the hog! Come on! Hey, Albert, what about the other thing? I almost forgot! <laughs> you! Oh, 
always beats them in the long run. Well, if he's going to actually run the race, there's not much use in me keeping this up. Today. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Oh, that's so unfair. Did you know that hedgehogs are night active creatures? They're in their full element at night. <sighs> you don't say. It's a good thing you're well rested. You've got yourself a new job. <laughs> Come on, hurry up here. Come on, I'm so sorry. That reminds me, you did bet on this race, didn't you? At those odds, we'll be owed a fortune. You did put the money on Albert, didn't you? Come on! It was a hedgehog against a hare. You'd have to be crazy to think the hedgehog could win this. But I guess that wasn't such a hot idea. Oh, great. You did great, Albert. Absolutely sterling stuff. I couldn't have done it without all of you. It's too bad we can't stay, but we have to do what we have to do. Simsa, Simsa, Simsa Grill! Happily ever after.